like it was like it lasted us three or four different salads and yeah. then my mom uh, wilted it down with like some salt and butter yeah so we had like five different meals out of one single beef <laughs> that is crazy and amazing it was huge i didn't even I, like i had to roll it up yeah and then kind of fold it and put it into the drawer <laughs> that is a, that is amazing that's a great story too and that was the year that i used compost tea the most I would use it every three or four days okay and just uh, just water my plants put a little bit on the leaves as well because they can actually uptake nutrients through their leaves as well too. yeah and okay. it also it gives it like when you use compost tea it gives it like a gloss okay like a sheen yeah almost you can almost see good reflection from the sun okay and i would have no pets that year absolutely You learned all that just from watching like videos on YouTube. Yep. That's amazing. And then trial and error, of course. But sure enough. The hardest part is indoor growing. Okay. Um, I tried using some compost that I made. Yeah. It was pretty good compost, but it had mites in it. Oh, okay. It ripped through a crop of like 68 corn plants, which they are like pink corn plants. Yeah. Uh, it had 24 tomatoes and three potatoes that I was going to graft my tomatoes onto my potato plants to make a potato tomato. Okay. And um, yeah, within the span of like three weeks, the mites destroyed everything. Oh yeah. Huh. They never touched the aloe vera because the aloe vera has like like a really thick membrane okay. compared to the leafy plants. Yeah. They c couldn't like uh, uptake nutrients, so when they finally reached the aloe vera, it just came over there. Yeah. It was just now they're going to die out. Once that process starts, I guess there's not much you can do, eh? Um, not too much. There are certain beneficial mites. Okay. Like they're the red mites. Yeah. That actually prey on these. Um, the they're like a uh, two spotted white mites. Okay. And uh, they absolutely go ham, and then when they don't have anything to eat, they yeah. also die out themselves. <laughs> okay. Intriguing. But I did. I don't know where to get those from. So, and no store was like really selling something like those predatory mice. If you could choose the destination of where you could go and make this more of a career, what would that look like for you? You're saying you want to get a farm. Yep. And like, the the end game is like everybody needs to eat sure. at some point in their life. So yeah. I have the potential to serve 100 percent of the populace the potential of course I won't because there are people who pick and choose what they want to eat at first but I think it could be a very lucrative job if I yeah. get into it yeah I do it properly not spend all my money and then not have anything in reserve of course but just take it slow sure one step at a time yeah end goal is just to be the owner of a company I have a friend who wants is taking business management yeah so he's probably going to help me out with that end. Cool. And I, I've just started growing indoors again with just like tomato plants and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. greens, spinach and some lettuce. And he wants like a trial just to see if his family and his parents will eat it. Mm -hmm. And if they do, then he's a, he's completely game because they, yeah. they're they not really big vegetable eaters. Vegetable, per se, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I have to put quality and love into it. So. That's really cool. But if I can get him on board, he's going through uh, the online college courses right now, so... Okay. Question for you. Yeah. Please feel free to say no to this uh, request. It's more of a request. But I do value that that, that consent piece immensely. Um, when I'm not driving my Uber, yeah. I love posting videos about how people connect and how they can do it really well. Yeah. Um, every once in a while I come across a good conversation like this one where I'm like, I want to feature this conversation for my my followers um but i never do it without like consent okay. and this has been so fascinating i'm like i would love to share this but the thing is not everyone is that's not everyone's jam and i do honor well, i want to honor that too would you feel comfortable if i were to share the video of our time together with my followers or is that something that you're like actually it's not really what i'm thinking of um, I'm, I'm down you're down with that okay yeah. okay so you have a youtube channel then? i do yeah this is um 
This is, uh, I call it a video release form, just to make sure that we're all on the same page about what we're doing. Yeah. yeah, okay, let me just fill that up real quickly here. Um, yeah, I have a YouTube channel, and um, in addition to YouTube, I also have a, an Instagram and TikTok as well. And so, yeah, it's uh, my followers love watching how I interact with people, and I think it encourages them, Vinny, in, in a certain sense, where they're like, man, I wish I could, like, talk to people the way you talk to them and so my encouragement for others is hey let me model for you like how I connect with people and how they can in turn you know sort of take it on in, in their own context that way and so that's the basic premise very simple that okay. way yeah I appreciate you being willing to do this though too yeah I'm actually an introvert at heart so um one of the biggest things that yeah. got me through it was a uh, Taking dramas. You know what? I would say I, I, I have a friend. She's here in the city. She taught drama and she was saying that's one of the things that helped her in the same way too. And she has a big encouragement to, to people saying, take drama because it really helps bring that out of you, right? Yeah. That's amazing. So you found the same experience as well too. Give me a second here. I don't even remember my phone number. <laughs> oh, that's good, cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> The oops. <laughs> That's all right. Contacts me. <laughs> there we go. I got a new line for work, and so I'm having the same process of saying, "Okay, let me see if I can still keep that in track." Are you working again later tonight? Uh, no, I have a day off today, which is nice. That is nice. Recently, know, my grandma died, though, so I, I had a few days off during that time. So this is the one that you were talking about uh, along the way here. Yeah, I lived with her when I was starting around four years old until about twenty-five. Whoa. Yeah. So she was someone pretty close in your life. Yep. Definitely. Sorry to hear that, bro. She went into a nursing home. Yeah. I don't know if she got the vaccination or not, but I think that she might have. And I'm not sure if that is the cause, mm -hmm. but she was definitely old, like 93. She turned okay. 93 on January 9th. Yeah. So. I'm sorry to hear that, though. I don't need a parent signature, do I? No, you're <laughs> <Okay>. all good. <laughs> Vinny, I appreciate our time together. Thank you. And I totally did not see that conversation transpiring the way it did. I was like, holy crap, there's a lot more here that I <laughs> would never have guessed. But it was really meaningful to say, hey, I think I know you a lot better now. Well, thank you. Um, I have a question for you as yes, well. Yes, for sure. Do you mind if I just take down your uh, YouTube channel? Oh, not at all, yes. Um, just write it down and send some notes here. I usually have business cards, but my new ones are on the way. Okay. So I'll definitely look at it. So, here. this is my name. Search for me under that, hey? Yeah. Or even on the internet in general, you'll find a few things along the way. Yep. And then the same handle also for TikTok and Instagram if you so desire to follow me there. Okay. And I'll just give you a little bit of a peek into what I do there. For sure. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. No problem. I hope our paths run across each other again. Yeah, exactly. I have a question about the yes, Uber. Like when you absolutely. put people on your favorites, Yes. how do you get another ride with your favorites? So mm. I think this is still... This is still kind of in the pilot phase because it's so new. Yeah. But the premise is like when you pre-book a ride, so let's say you're finishing at 8 o'clock in the morning, you pre-book a ride, there should be an option that gives you an ability to, to click on your favorite drivers. Okay. It won't let you choose a specific one. So if you have like five, it'll choose the one of them who is available and closest kind of thing. Okay, okay. But that's how it, it, it theoretically is supposed, supposed to work. Yeah. I'm still trying to iron that out with Uber and say, let's, uh, yeah, let's make sure that that's actually... Um, an option that you can get to still. That last okay. part is the part that's a, a little challenging, but um, that's the theory, yeah. and that's what, what they're aiming for. So okay. that's how it should work. So it's only through pre booking, then, right? Only through pre booking. Okay. And you have up to a half an hour in advance of your time yeah. that you can still choose the favorite driver. Okay. If, say, you're like aiming for 15 minutes in advance, then it wouldn't give you that option. Yeah. But up to half an hour or days, in essence, then you can choose the uh, favorite driver feature. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. It'd be good to see you again though, along the way. Hopefully. Yeah. I always, 90% uh, of the time I work, 11 to 7, so. Okay. 
I'll have you in the vicinity again. <laughs> For sure. All right, man. Have a good one. Same for you, Vinny. Thank you. Awesome. Bye. Later.